your teacher Justin in Mathematics 3. In today's lesson, you will be able to write addition sentence and solve for addition problem. Compute for the sum using fingers, 100 grids or number charts, and vertical addition, and you will be able to show accuracy and carefulness. But before we start our lesson, can I ask everyone to please stand and let us pray. Angel of God, my garden dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Good morning, pupils. Is there any absentee today? That's good. Everybody is present. Who among you still remember our topic yesterday? Yes, Monica, what did we discuss yesterday? Okay, very good. It is all about counting numbers. Oh, so what did you learn about counting numbers? Yes, Rajaline. Okay, very good. So now, will you say what numbers comes before 39? Okay, very good. It's 38. How about what number comes after 62? Okay, very good. It's 63. Now give yourselves five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Now before we proceed to our next lesson, I want everyone to get one half piece of paper and answer the following addition problem. Okay, now finish or not finish, pass your paper in front. Now, what problem did you solve? Yes, Monica. Okay, very good. It is an addition problem. So we people who live in this world, we should know how to add numbers for us to survive. We use addition problem to buy foods, clothes, and other necessities. So our topic for today is about Compute for the sum and solve for addition problem. So what is addition? Addition is taking two or more numbers and adding them together. It is also the total sum of two or more numbers. So now I will show you an example on how to add numbers using objects. So what have you seen in the picture? Yes, Monica. Okay, very good. There are two baskets with apples. So, how many apples are there in the first basket? Yes, Rika. Okay, very good. How about in the second basket? Yes, Yasmin. Okay, very good. There are seven apples in, in the first basket and four apples in the second basket. So, to add seven and four, we can count forward four steps from seven. So, we start from the bigger number. Seven is the bigger number. And let's count four steps. One, two, three, four. So, eleven is the number that is the answer. And the symbol used to indicate addition is plus symbol. So, 7 and 4 can be written as 7 plus 4 equals 2. So, now, what is the total numbers of apples in the two baskets that we added? Yes, Rojili. Okay, very good. 7 apples plus 4 apples is equal to 11 apples. Now, can someone read the sentence in the screen? Yes, big shot. Okay, thank you, big shot. Now, we can write the mathematical expression of 7 plus 4 equals 11 as like this. So, the numbers that are added are called addons. And the answer in the addition is called sum. So, in addition, the addends are added to get the sum. So, what do you call to the numbers that are added? Yes, Monica. Okay, very good. How about in the 
Answer in the addition. Yes, Yasmin. Okay, very good. Now, can I request everyone to raise your fingers in your hand? Now, how many fingers did you have in your hands? Yes, cluster. Okay, very good. There are, we have 10 fingers in our hands. So, addition of small numbers can also be done using fingers too. Now, let us count according to the number written in the pictures. 5 plus 2, 5 plus 2 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 2 plus 2 is equal to 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, 4 plus 0 is equal to 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, you know how to add numbers using fingers. But there is also another way to add numbers using number charts. Number charts are another way to add numbers. So, here is the example. Add 57 and 16 using 100 leads. So, the step one is mark the bigger number. So, the bigger number is 57. Step two. If the number to be added is more than 10, break it in tens and ones. So, when we break 16, we will get 10 plus 6. So, step 3. Jump as many tens as in the second number. So, let's jump 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, we get 67. Step 4. Move forward as many ones as in the second number. So we will move forward plus 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the answer is 73. Now, there is also another way to add numbers. You see, vertical addition. Now, let's add 57 plus 16. Watch and listen carefully because I will show you how to add numbers using vertical addition. Step 1. Write the numbers one below the other the other as per places of the digits. So this is the other number and we will write the other number below the other number. So this is the ones digit and this is the tens digit. Step two, start adding from the ones digit. Write the sum under the one digit. So this is the ones digit. So, Seven plus five. Seven. One, two, three, four, five. We get twelve. So two, we will put the one above five. This is what you call the carry. So step three, add the tens digit. If there was a carry forward digit, add it along. So let's count. Five using fingers. 5 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 7. So, we get 73. Here is another example. Marie bought a designer handbag for 231 pesos and a belt for 199 pesos. How much did she spend on both? So, to find the total cost, we need to add 
one and one hundred one hundred ninety nine. So who can write the addition sentence of two hundred thirty one and one hundred ninety nine? And what? Yes, Monica, on your paper. Okay, very good. Two hundred. 31 plus 199 is written vertically like this. So we will start from the ones digit. So 1 plus 9, 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. So 0, carry 1, and then in the tenth digit, 3. Plus 9, 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we will get 12. Add along the carry. So plus 1 is 13. So we get 13. Carry 1, 2, plus 1. And then plus 1, we will get, we will get 4. So the answer is 231 plus 199 is 430. So how much did Marie spend? Yes, Rika. Okay, very good, 430. So did you understand our lesson? Okay, so if you really understand our lesson, what do you call when you get the answer in the addition problem? Yes, Monica. Okay, it's the sum. How about what symbol uses in addition? Yes, Lester. Okay, it's the plus symbol. How about give at least one example on how to add numbers? Yes, Dibsha. Okay, very good. How about you? Lester. Okay, very good. Rogeline. Okay, very good. Using fingers, vertical addition, and 100 grids or charts. Now, what is the total sum of 132 and 100? Yes, Yasmin. Okay, very good. It's 232. Class, now I have here a magic box. This box contains an addition sentence, which is the answer in the following sum. All you need to do is to pick one addition sentence and put it into the proper place or position in the following sum. So now we have already completed all the addition sentence. And now I have here all your worksheets and all you have to do is to answer all the following addition problems. Pass the paper. Okay, finish or not finish, pass your paper in front and get your math notebook and write the assignment. Okay, that's all for today. Goodbye class.